That's about the same number as Sickles has to defend here at the Devil's Den area. But the Confederates bring in more help and reinforcements to the fighting here. Pretty much doubling their strength coming in here, and eventually Sickles men are pushed out of the Devil's Den area. We've got a snake across the ground here. Oh, wow. Cool. It's right here. Yeah. Can you see it? It's on the left. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like Maybe snakes you know, myself. Right there. Oh. I like snakes myself, so I'm not. <laughs> okay. But eventually, Sickles is going to be pushed out of the Devil's Den area. But the loss of the Devil's Den to the Union Army at that point doesn't matter that much because the Union left has now been reestablished over there right. on Little Round Top ahead of us. The Confederates capture three cannon here. In this battle, the Union Army loses seven cannon on recapture. Three of them, for almost half, right here at the Devil's Den. Once the Confederates take the Devil's Den area, they hold it for the rest of the battle. And they will then use the big rocks above and below as a position Confederates to attempt to pick off Union soldiers over there on Little Round Top. 